Spice, will you shut up for a minute? We gotta get you the fuck out of Dodge, man. We're going to Vegas tonight. What are you talking about, Vegas? Vegas, baby, Vegas. Hey, everybody, new subscribers and those people that just happened to stop on by. I figured I'd take uh, some time because I'm bored. God, I'm excited to go to Vegas in October on Halloween for four days, and then I head off to Thailand for about a month. But anyway, besides that, I figured I'd uh, go ahead and share another session with you, and I'm hoping it's going to be a choppy one so I can show you, you know, examples of how to recover and... Um, you know, how to get your butt out of a bind. Not that it's going to happen very often at all. If you just follow the uh, instructions, be patient. And um, you know what? Just have fun when you're doing it. Again, um, if you're just starting off doing this, uh, I'd recommend that you take uh, your cash out often. Um, meaning, you know, if you're, if you're on a... If you just had a losing number and... Um, or a winning number, I'm sorry, at that two session or that two roll little period, uh, and you don't want to wait, you know what, heck, cash out your ticket, go do your thing, and then come on back and put the same ticket back in there and catch up to where you were before, and or not catch up, you're just uh, starting all over again. That way it keeps you uh, from waiting, uh, but once again, remember, you're waiting for a losing number, uh, expectations and probability of... Those numbers coming in again, one out of six, are are diminished, but, you know, it doesn't keep from a back-to-back -back from happening, but that's why uh, I have that safety mechanism that's built in, where after a, I always get this wrong, after a losing number, you want to go ahead, and after that, just go ahead and re-spin it again. Boy. Anyway, with that in mind, let me quit my belly aching and Doing all that, let me start off. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it and wait for that losing number. Okay, about uh, seven rolls later, I came up with a 31. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to spin it for one more, like I tried to say in the f earlier, and I did get a double-double. So what I'm going to do here is spin it one more time to make sure I don't get a triple. Um, and then I'm just going to go for it. So I'm going to start off. Let's imagine I sat down with, I don't know, we'll call it 200 bucks that you've already built up in house money using um, the method I used for starting off at like 50 bucks. If you want to do it that way, or heck, you know what, if you want to sit down with 150, this is how you do it. So I'm going to start off with three. And if you've watched my videos before, it's pretty obvious, you know what I'm doing. If you're new and you just happen to stumble across this, then this is how I do it. I'm going to hit it for two. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and close it down, pause the video, and wait for that losing number. About eight rolls later or so, I came across the zero. So in that case, what I'm going to do again is I'm going to clear it out. Clear it out. Oh, what? Come on. Oh, wait. Duh. Clear it out. <laughs> and go for one more. And there we have it. And then I'm going to start off where I was before. No need to make any changes to that. I'm just going to go ahead and fire it up. And uh, I'm going to pause the video and patiently wait. All right, about, uh, oh, I think it was five rolls later or spins later, I came up with the 27. Again, I'm going to go ahead and clear this puppy out. I'm going to fire it up for one to see if I get that ugly back-to-back, -back, which I don't, prevent it that way, and uh, since I'm already set up, I'm going to fire it up for two. And uh, once again, clear it out, pause the video. The number was 34, so again, I'm going to spin it one more time to prevent a back-to-back. And uh, I'm going to load it up again, and it should all already be. Hit it for two. Bam. Come on, let's see a first 12. I bet it's going to come up. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, see, I told you. Anyway, uh, close it down once again. About seven later, roughly seven. I don't know. 
anyway, um, I got this. I got the zero. So let's go ahead and fire up for another one to prevent a back to back. And we get the 11. So with that in mind, we're already set up to hit it for two. And I'm going to wait again. All right, the very next number was a 34. So having said that, I'm kind of in a little gambling mood. I don't suggest you guys do this um, because honestly, I'm bored. Just want to try something, you know. Anyway, it's not to say you won't be successful because chances are very good you will be. But when you're building up a bankroll, I highly don't suggest you do what I'm about ready to do until you have about, oh, 250. Um, that way, if you were to lose at this one, you still have your $50 once again to, to start all over at the $5 level. So, um, hey, if you want to go for the gusto, then this is when you do it. So, having said that, um, was a 34? Did I spin it again? Ah, shit, I can't remember. All right, one, two, three. One, two, three. And let's go one and two. And ready, let's pull the trigger. Bam! Bam! So anyway, it quickly brings me up to 125. And then after having done that, I'm going to go ahead and close it down. Wait for a losing number. And that number was a 30. So I'm going to close out. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, shit. That's okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Pardon me. And I'm going to roll it for one. So I know I don't get a back-to-back, -back, which is nice. And, uh, and then at that case, after the 25, I want you to regress down if you choose to do it this way to your 10 levels. And like every, I don't know, every four or five wins that you have, you know, you've gone your two and uh, you made your money and you closed out, waited for a waiting number, spun it again. Then I'd like for you to go ahead, of course, and, and lower it back down to your $10 unit. So, of course, you're, you're minimizing your risk of everything. Uh, and then you work that up to your 225. And then when you get to your 225, I'm going to give you a quick example of, of what you're to do when you're at that. Um, I prefer you have, you know, that amount. So anyway, what I would do at, in that situation is I would fire it up for, well, I don't know where we're at. Let's just pretend I'm stopping at 125. I would set it up for three. Yeah, hit the button. <clears throat> it's a 13. And then at that point, I would go down to 10. Hit the roll button. Nail it. I'm up to 160. I would wait technically for a losing number. So let's go ahead and do that, and I'll just go through the motions one more time for you. It's pretty obvious, but, you know, hang on. The very next spin was a 31. So having said that, I'm going to roll it to ensure I don't get a back-to-back, -back and I'm okay. And uh, once again, I would go to my 25. Hit it for one. And again, I'm going to go ahead and lower it down to the $10. This, of course, is minimizing your loss in case something happens at this point. And that's what I try to, try to speak about in all my videos, is reducing your risk and trying to start off with the least amount of money. So that's always my goal. I do treat this as a business. Is it a business? No, but uh, I enjoy gambling, but I also enjoy walking out a winner the most. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So anyway, with that in mind, let me go ahead and fire it up for one. <clears throat> That's a loss. So I'm going to show you how to recover from that loss now that that happened. And I'm happy it did. So I'm going to refresh it, double it for two rolls or spins, get a back-to-back. -back, and in that situation, uh, 
I would call it a, a losing session because uh, I lost all that amount, which is fine. And uh, I'm at 945, which cuts me right at my, you know, my 150 mark. Or actually, I'm not even at 150, but I'm not going to chase it. You know what? I'm going to call this a losing session and be fair. Um, how many sessions have I gone without a losing one? So I need to go ahead and, um, of course, put that up as I would any other losing one. So anyway, having said that, uh, kind of give you an idea of what happens. And uh, yes, of course, you're going to have some losing sessions, just like everything else. You know, nothing, nothing is infallible. And uh, I average right now, I would say 10 sessions, I would have one losing session. It's pretty much where I'm sitting, and that's pretty accurate when you do your own testing. Uh, not only using a simulator, which I really prefer not using, but actually if you're, you're using an actual wheel and your felt. So that's what I recommend everybody to do when testing any strategy is to do it on a platform, try it on two platforms, uh, and then uh, move on to a wheel. Or if you want to start right off with a wheel, that's perfectly fine too. So anyway, I'll call this a losing session. And uh, with that in mind, you guys have a great day and a better tomorrow.